This recording is volume five in the Pardon My Blooper series of unintended indiscretions before microphone and camera. It is intended as a sympathetic tribute to the members of the radio and television industry who have been the victims of these classic boners. Six p.m. Standard Central Time. I mean Central Standard Time. This is your Prudential News Reporter bringing you up to the minute news from from the wires of UP and IP. I mean uh, IP and UP. A copywriter who confused a shoe commercial with a watch commercial made this announcer his unfortunate victim. 9 p.m. B-U-L-O-V-A, Bulova Watch Time. This Christmas, buy her the new Bulova President. Curved to fit the foot. Curved to fit the foot? Huh? So when you're out shopping, ladies, be sure to look for Dugan's Light Diet Bread, baked by Fresh Dugan Brothers. In radio and television, nothing interferes with a station break. When a program runs too long, an announcer may have to cut off the air rapidly. Listen to what happened in this case. The flood waters are up to a record high. It's doubted if the levees can hold out much longer. Devastation is everywhere. And all I can say as I stand here is, this is KDOO Tulsa. Tonight, your city station brings you a summertime treat. We take you to Central Park Mall for an appalling program of band music. <laughs> I meant appealing. Here's an incident from the popular Share the Wealth program of a few years ago. All oh, right, now here's your next chance to share the wealth. Now this next series of questions pertains to animals and history. I got that? In each case, there is a person connected with history who had an association with an animal. Now, young lady, uh, it's your turn. Now, where'd you say we're from again, young lady? Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, it's Brooklyn. Now, as a Brooklynite, you should be well aware of the importance of history, right? I yes, Brooklyn has so. a long history in itself. Yes. But we're going to go way back to English history for you. Oh now, what animal do you associate with Lady Godiva? Thea. <laughs> This is the Belt Zone Broadresting Corporation. Judge Walter Thompson warned that the manufacturers that the court had already handed down a decision and would look with disfavor upon anyone who tampered with his union suit. That was the latest national and international news direct from the wires of the Associated Press. And now for an item on the lighter side. Hollywood. Jane Russell's husband, Bob Waterfield, was reported to have said in a recent interview, I don't want her to do either housework or cooking. I don't want her to endanger her career by bending over a hot stove. And that's the news. Tune in now to Ringside, where an exciting fight is in progress. What an action-packed round that was. Three minutes of thrilling excitement. While we're waiting for round four, fans, how about joining me in a glass of Pat's Blue Ribbon Beer? Mm -hmm. With this handy automatic dishwasher, all you have to do is twist a button and push a lever. Uh, I beg your pardon. Uh, push a button and twist a lever. We got to rock. We got to roll. Rock and roll fans, here's the latest platter from that ever popular pepper pot, Pelvis Presley. On a popular program on which occupations are guest, the contestant was a mattress stuffer. One of the panelists asked this. Is your product used by uh, one sex over another? Uh, Dick Powell has informed us that he's got plans for coming east. He and his wife, actress June Allison, will fly to New York as soon as his broken arm is healed. 
It's a laugh riot. It's a musical treat. It's the film version of the hit Broadway show, Gentlemen Prefer Blonde, starring Jane Russell and Marilyn Monroe. Yes, sir, the big ones come to RKO. And word comes to us from Washington that Ake has a stomach ache. Sometimes an announcer can get a cue prematurely. He may not be ready for it. Here from the Igor Cassini show is an example of the consequences. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a word from our announcer. Me? So soon? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Now back to Igor Cassini. Here is a brief extract from a ringside interview with a wrestler. Well, I'll tell you, I was out in Las Vegas one time, and... Uh... I wrestled this guy, he's about 220 pounds, I threw the, the bum right out of the ring. How many fights did you have? How many matches, actually? Oh, I uh, had quite a few. I must have had around uh, 97 or 98. No kidding. Did you win them all? I won most of them. Uh, I wrestled uh, 60 matches without any draws. Why not keep a couple of economical large-size bottles in your refrigerator? It's delicious. A full 32-ounce size that will serve sex easily. At Ebbets Field in Brooklyn, many strange things happen. The public address system brings many startling announcements as witness this case. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. From the ladies in the box behind the visiting team's dugout, kindly cooperate by removing their clothing. The microphone is a sensitive instrument and can be dangerous. Listen to this female announcer who forgot that the microphone was listening. And now, audience, here is our special TV matinee guest that we've all been waiting for. World-famous author, lecturer, and world traveler, and man about town, uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Mr. Oh, what the hell is his name? Hollandale's is open until 9. And don't forget that Hollandale's has the latest maternity fashions for the modern miss. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you our beauty queen, Miss Florine Stowe. How are you, Miss Stowe? I'm just fine. I bet you're very happy and excited about <laughs> all of this, aren't you? I sure am. Uh, where are you from, Miss Stowe? I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida. Oh, wonderful. St. Petersburg, that's very beautiful uh -huh. country oh, down there. Gorgeous. You know, Miss Stowe, may I tell you that you are one of the prettiest girls that I've ever seen uh -huh. in a bathing suit? Well, thank you. I've been told I look just as nice without a bathing suit. <laughs> when you're thinking of an all-season thirst quencher, it's a delight, winter or summer. Instant white rose, hot or cold, orange, Tico P. As for acting honors, it was a walk away for Ernest Borgnine for his job in Marty. And for all her work in Rose Tattoo, Anna Magnani we deserved to be this year's Anatomy Award winner. Many advertising agencies mark their scripts to show which points to emphasize. Listen to this nervous novice announcer doing his first commercial. Collins bread is slow baked, punch this. That means that, make this sincere, every inch of each loaf is evenly browned, making for delicious, wholesome, super digestible bread. When your grocer asks you, emphasize this, be sure you say, Collins bread. And now, a medley of tunes from Walt Disney Films. Hi diddly dee, when you wish upon a star, and I've seen everything when I see an elephant fly. <laughs> Our Homes and Gardens show was represented by Mrs. Browning, uh, who was at the flower show with her twin daughters, Alice, age six, and Audrey, age nine. We take you now to a musical program broadcast by the BBC in London. Here's an all-time favorite made popular by the famous Miss Jessie Matthews several years back. Dancing on the ceiling. This one surely deserves to be on every British shit list. Today, I would like to explain to all you boys and girls how to go about forming your own 4-H club. The chief requisite is to have an adult leader like myself, which can be a man or woman or a combination of both. There are bargain flights every day. You can fly to Miami, Seattle, San Francisco, Montreal, 
Today, for example, you can fly to Dallas, Texas for only 32 Dallas. Good afternoon. This is your daily weather forecaster bringing you up-to-the-minute weather news direct from the municipal airport. Word has just reached us that a southeast girl blowing at about 70 miles an hour is reported on her way. Listen to an incident from one of your favorite cowboy adventure programs. He come high tailing out of that saloon like a coyote come howling out of a canyon. But the varmint didn't get away. He got his foot caught in the syrup. Here's an old favorite. Tenor with organ looking for a girl named Sally. Anyone can be responsible for a blooper. And to prove the point, here's one that came from the typewriter of a continuity writer. Ladies, before we bring you our new Gene Autry record, here's a word from our new sponsor, the Smith Laundry. I mean, you may have had problems with your husband's shirts or different kinds of uh, underwear. Where it comes from the laundry torn by machinery, well, you won't have that trouble because we do it carefully by hand. Also aboard the Italian liner, back in the U.S. for a brief visit and a medical checkup, uh, is Ambassadress Clara uh, Luce, uh, Luce Booth. I beg your pardon, that, uh, that should have been Miss Clara Luce Booth. At the launching of a ship in Norway, a local announcer with a fine Oxford accent but not too good a grasp of English was doing the shortwave broadcast when this occurred. The Duchess handled the launching beautifully, smashing the champagne bottle against the prow with the aplomb of an expert. The crowd cheered as she slipped majestically down the greasy runway into the sea. So ladies, before we bring you our special guest, I'd like you to remember, when you go to your grocer, be sure and ask for a seal test ice cream containing Joy, the wonderful new household detergent. And here's some news of local interest. From Europe comes word that Private Wilson of Greenpoint, Germany, is missing in the Soviet zone of Brooklyn. Interviews can bring strange answers. Listen to this excerpt from a luncheon show from a famous New York restaurant. Show business is a gamble. Take a big chance, but then, you know, there's always a big payoff when a show does become a hit. For example, I know I'd like to have a piece of my fair lady. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for music, so welcome to the Dinosaur Show. At 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. For the latest in movie equipment, stop at Harrison's Camera Store for the latest in Hell and Bowel equipment. Hey, shouldn't that be Bell and Howell? At your local RKO theater starting Monday through Friday, be sure to see Betty Davis in The Virgin Queen and tonight's The Night. Here's another handy service from your Tintex dealer. Just stop in at any dealer who handles Tintex, and he will give you a free demonstration telling you how to dye in your washing machine. An announcer may sometimes skip a line of his script. This is what happened to a local newsman who did just that. And here's another local news item of interest to you veterans. Tonight, there will be a meeting at the 32nd Armory, sponsored by Veterans of Foreign Wars. We want to be sure that all those who died for his country will attend. A small town sportscaster who was not familiar with the name of a nationally known tennis star came up with this blooper. Well, so much for baseball fans. Now from Forest Hill comes words that Vic Siexis will be able to play in the cup finals after all. It's a chance for him to add one more laurel to his crown. It's an exciting thing to realize that Vic Siexis has won many national as well as many sexual championships. Tonight at 10, it's chills and shivers. Tune in on that master of suspense, the well-known Hollywood director, Alfred Hitchcock. That should be Alfred Hitchcock. This broadcast is coming to you from the heart of Chicago, the pimp room of the Hotel Ambassador. We take you now to Rochester for the National Open Golf Tourney. Well, sports fans, Carrie Middlecoff has done it again with a one-stroke win over veteran Ben Hogan. The golf world has a new opium champion. 
And now here's further news on the recent crime wave. Police are finding it difficult to come up with a solution to the murders. The commissioner says that the victims are unwilling to cooperate. Ah, it looks like another big one for Dodie Day. Now, you've just heard the front side of Doris Day's latest hit, Secret Love. Let's take a look at her backside. <laughs> that is, her other side. Of course, I have had considerable experience in child psychology, and particularly in dealing with juvenile delinquents. In one case of this youngster who was well on the road to becoming a habitual criminal, I was able to straighten the boy out by putting my finger on his problem. Here's an incident from the soap opera Young Dr. Malone. Scalpel. Scalpel. Hemostat. Hemostat. Suture. Suture. Hypodemic noodle. Stay tuned when immediately following station identification, Mutual resents Fulton Lewis, Jr. Everyone's talking about Tony Perkins' wonderful job in the new Gary Cooper film. He practically steals the picture. Here's a bulletin 20th Century Fox has just bought the right to a new naval for Marilyn Monroe. Sometimes news editors write copy in a hurry. The results can be surprising, as witness this local newscast. And here's another local news item. Miss Marie Bailey of 143 Elm Street, who fled from her home in the nude and was taken to jail by local police, was released after being held for several days for observation. When a station carries two programs, one local and one network, the crossing of the two lines can bring unexpected effects. Listen to this. The uh, recipe this afternoon is for potato pancakes. I'm sure you'll all enjoy them. You take six uh, medium-sized potatoes, one onion, one egg, pepper and salt, and then you fry them in uh, uh, deep fat, and I'm sure your guests will just love them. Funeral services will be held promptly at 2 o'clock. We're mighty proud of these 4-H clubs. Work they do throughout the country is something that makes every farm man proud to know his boys are growing up, know how to handle the things that you have to handle here on the farms. Now, Bill Jorgen, for your work in sanitation and hygienics, I'm proud to present this plague to you. This is Mrs. Jonathan Van Dyke bringing to you your weekly news about social happenings and events in our town. Last night's social at the community hall was a huge success. The gymnasium overflowed with gifts for the Korean orphans. All ladies present brought something they didn't need, and we were delighted to see so many bring their husbands. This is PFC Helen Miller of the United States Army Recruiting Corps. I want to tell you young men that there is an opportunity for you with an insured future with the United States Army. The United States Army is known throughout the world for the care, training, and handling of its privates. We tune in now to a United Nations news summary. The conference at the UN regarding the Russian proposal is expected to come to a successful confusion at the end of this session. Contestants on audience participation programs are often nervous and sometimes give strange answers. Now, uh, this shouldn't be too hard. Here it is. All I want you to do is to give me the names of three of Santa's reindeer. Now, just think back to the poem, The Night Before Christmas, and give me just three of the reindeer's names. Uh, there was Prancer. That's right. And, uh, Dancer. Good, that's only, that's two, o only one more. Prancer and Dancer and, uh, Blunces. <laughs> the entire crew of the bomber thought they had completed the mission unscathed. But on the way back from Korea, the super fart burst into flame. 
Here's one you've been hearing a lot on the Victor label. Ralph Flanagan's recording of Charmaine. Well, it looks like Victor's really plugging Charmaine. Here's an incident from a man on the street quiz show. Now, Mr. Esposito, are you ready for your second question? That's all right. Your category is bodies of water. Tell me, where would you find the Great Lakes? Uh, the Great Lakes? Uh, upper U.S. <laughs> And so we conclude another in the Pardon My Blooper series of classic radio and television boners. Additional albums in this series will be released soon. Until we meet then, this is your narrator leaving you with the words of Alexander Pope, who said, To err is human, to forgive divine.